hello. So, um, down the fend rod, literally just arrived. Um, I booked the day off tomorrow, um, because I was supposed to be doing something. And, um, I don't need to do it anymore, so, um, well, that means I've got a day free. Uh, that means I can do a Sunday night on the fend rod, which I haven't done a Sunday night for probably, ooh, last bank holiday, is it? Something like that. It's a freak occurrence anyway for me. But um, yeah, yesterday, or well, all weekend, there's been the Welsh Cup Championships on here, and there's been quite a lot of fish caught from the area where I've set up in. Um, the rest of the lake was pretty mediocre, one or two fish. Um, and this one done 20 odd fish down in this bay. So I'm fishing a peg that wasn't fished during the match. Hopefully, there's still fish in the area, and we can uh, monopolise on what was already a big haul. So we'll. Uh, We'll see you later. So then, uh, my first nighttime update, not a good one. Uh, yeah, I, I literally, as soon as I set up, I was, I was late-ish coming down here, it got dark, literally. It was like a, someone pulling a blanket over. It just went pitch black outside. Um, I could do one or two fish boshing out in the mar. Out, so I was quite sort of like, attentive to what was out there. I've put the baits out there. And uh, I was just lying there, listening. And next thing I know, I'm opening my eyes, and it's um, it's 10 to 11. <laughs> I've got one of the reed rods is uh, screaming off. So I throw my wellies on, and I jump to it. And it's on for about two or three minutes of hard lunging about, a bit, and then it goes slack. So, so that's the appetite. Uh, yeah, so I've re changed the baits on that one, um, put it back out, and then I thought I'll check the other rods because they've been out four or five hours without a knock, and um, I've heard fish moving around, so so I've just really in the middle rod and found a snag. So I've lost a the rig there. Um, put it tight. I know there's a tree that's come down here in the last couple of weeks. Um, I probably found a big chunk of it, so I've got, so I'm down a rig, down a fish, uh, but it's still early, and let's see, let's see what the night brings, because about two or three minutes before I sat here huffing and puffing about losing rig and losing a fish, and but at least I didn't lose a fish with a rig at the same time, um, but yeah, I was sitting there huffing about that, thinking, thinking about what I could have done differently and uh, there's still fish boshing around out there so um, yeah I'm confident <laughs> yeah all right I'll see you guys later hello That looks a fair size common. Well, let's get it into the cradle and we'll check it out. It's actually, it's actually not as big as I thought it was going to be, but it fought like its size, you know what I mean? You know, it's coming up at eighteen pound four, but uh, yeah, it fought like an eighteen pounder. But yeah, brilliant result.
Now the quality thin rod common at 18 pounds and 4 ounces. Yeah, absolutely went mental. Thought it had a bit of a few um, ghosty flex in it when I first saw it, but uh, no, it's proper bronze now. Probably not showing up in this light because the light's too strong. But, uh, Let's flip him out. There we go. Second run of the night. First fish. 18 pound four. Taking on the Bexland shrimp. I love it when I actually get a tidy fish out of the fender. I think they're lovely. Quality fish. Right. Let's get you back, is it? Thank you very much. <coughs> Good morning. So, um, yeah, zoom that out a bit. Yeah, I had a fish last night. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with that. Absolutely went mental. One of the hardest fighting fish I've ever had out here, I think. It would not give up. And, uh, I remember about four, like, four years ago, I think it was, when I had a, I had a sort of a ghost carp around about the same size, and that one, that one fought exactly the same. It was just like, I'm, I'm staying on the bottom, you're not getting me off. And it was just constantly fighting down, fighting down. And then after, after I filmed it and taken a few photos, Trying to release it in the sling, and it was swimming straight to the bottom of the string, and I couldn't get it out of the sling then. But uh, it was it was a it was a lovely fish to have anyway. But, uh, I think I lost something probably on par with that as well, because of the way it was kicking beforehand. But uh, I'll never know. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna give it another hour on this spot. Maybe. Depends if I get a run or not. I was thinking, slowly pack down the baby and go down into the, um, right down into the channel. Because the match over the last, well, yesterday, Saturday on Friday, was, uh, it, it populated the whole lake. There was, I don't even know how many anglers they were on here, but there was loads and loads of rods in here. And it, 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 was, it was fishing well, but you find then, when, once the lake has been under pressure like that, the fish head up straight to the channel. So perhaps I should uh, yeah, give me time to pack down here, head up there for a few hours. Uh, and see how it goes from there. Right, I'll just see you later. Well, I haven't moved yet, simply because it keeps bursting down with rain and I don't really want to drag everything out to get it soaked in. But uh, you can see sort of how muddy it is because you can't really tell where my ground sheet ends. <laughs> well, it's coming up quite clear on the camera actually, but looking down it's just all mud, perfect trail in. But, uh, yeah.
So I've moved, finally moved, um, down into the snags, or down into the little opening in the trees. It's a lot more overgrown than I remember. And also, the the fact that um, the lake flooded the night before last, it's slippery death trap um, all down where the rods are now. So before you even think about going to the swim, you mark out where all the stones are, all the roots are, so you've got a solid foot in when you're stepping in there. Um, and that's what I can say. Um, I've put belt and shrimp out on all of them now, um, but I've been offering the go nuts and belt and shrimp free offering. And um, we'll see how it goes from there. Well, things aren't looking promising. Um, it started raining down here, and um, I did promise that I'd be on my way home at 3 o'clock and now it's 25 to 3 yeah. so, a bit of success during the night another 25 minutes hopefully, hopefully I'll get that final take there's fish in the area, I've seen them moving around but they just the ones I have seen them are, 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 like, performing, it's almost as if they're like, spawning the way they're jumping around but it's only one or two but, uh, let's see see, we've got 25 minutes it can be done Twelve pounds. I said twelve pounds. Twelve pounds nine. Twelve pounds eight. Not a bad fish, is that better? No. So. So. I'll leave you to your video anyway, yeah. so you don't get a lot yet. <laughs> Here we go, last fish of the session, just before I pack up. Is it £12.9? I'll give that actually, it's thought absolutely metal. But I reeled any of the rods while this was in the net, so uh, this is definitely the last one. Another one on the Betulin shrimp. Belshrim, Betulin. Here's the other side, here we go. Right, time to go home now. Good yes. Here we go. Reason why I came fishing. Another small, lovely common. You ready to go? Right, that does me. Um, two car, lost one. Yeah, but um, pretty good session. Um, turned into autumn now, there's leaves falling everywhere. So, um, yeah, next time on the bank, I'll see you then.
will be open for shit then. Ta da.